Hello Capricorn, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first half of July of 2022 Spiritual Guidance Reading. For your reading, I've been guided to the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burstyn and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Capricorn I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, or Rising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Capricorn with clearly defined messages of spiritual advice for the first half of July of 2022. Go figure. We've got a Capricorn here whose mind is on the money and the money is on the mind, right? With the Palace of Coins energy, there is the thought of investments, uh, changes, uh, focus, when it comes to business or going into the direction of greater abundance. Uh, thinking about money in the home and feeling pretty darn good. But in the thoughts, we have the Page of Swords energies. So we have a Capricorn who's thinking about the truth of a situation regarding your uh, financial foundation. Now in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we do have the Knight of Wands energy. So male or female, we have someone who may be showing up for you in the first half of July Capricorn. Hmm. Now the Knight of Wands energies is someone who comes in rather quickly and then leaves just as quickly and maybe that took place and now you're trying to get to the truth. So in the creative aspects position, we have a Capricorn who is really trying to create a soulmate connection trying to decipher a beautiful financially stable direction but maybe needing to get to the truth by having a conversation creating a conversation with someone here who either came and went or they're about to now in the actions position we have a quick and unexpected action so again i'm feeling like if someone hasn't already kind of showed up out of the blue here they may be doing so um, hmm, I'm trying to get a date, but it's unexpected. I feel like it's just going to come to their mind and they're going to react and they're going to come towards you quickly. And, uh, if this is a, a financial question, uh, the truth is going to come as far as what you've been creating in a blessed way. There is a path, a project that was meant to be, and you're going to see some real positive results and they, these positive results or information is going to come in uh, quick and unexpectedly so in the emotional aspects position we have the death card we have i am no longer emotionally tied here to one situation or the other but instead i'm going to bring an end to uh, this area of business and go into the direction of new connection so i'm getting a lot of different things here with the major arcana, the death card being here in the cre in the emotional aspects position, there's going to be a, a strong desire to bring an end to maybe one financial direction or uh, a home location because of some unexpected connection that shows up here. Interesting. So in the subconscious position, we have, oh, the Four of Cups energies. Is this an offer of love or should I bring the situation to an end? This person showed up quickly and unexpectedly and now I'm trying to get to the truth of a situation and maybe bring it to an end myself because I'm just not sure what's on offer here, if anything at all. So day to day, we have the Hermit energy. Um, this is Spirit stepping in with another major arcana saying, uh, shine your light on maybe three or four different people places circumstances and give something some time the spirit is helping you to create a connection that is uh very uh feels like it's meant to be um, but there's a little question here of what's on offer in the first half of july for this capricorn so in the inner strengths position we have the page of cups energies uh, this is beautiful energy this is kind words and messages someone may come towards you with kind words and messages now we've got the page of cups and the page of swords energy so there's thoughts of communicating about an ending but there's also the ability to hang in there and observe a situation for a period of time yeah so check this out on the bottom of the deck we have the tower card and so i do feel like if there hasn't been a shocking unexpected situation something's going to come towards you during the first half of july everybody's path will turn out uh, uh, on a different day 
But what you are giving birth to here um, is what spirit is helping for you to decide upon. So they're giving you the Queen of Cups energies, uh, Capricorn, to follow your intuition regarding a new path in love or maybe even a renewed path in love. Yeah, someone here is feeling stuck or trapped when it comes to communication. Therefore, in the thoughts position, you're trying to, and they're maybe thinking about having a conversation to decipher the truth. So we have the Page of Wands energy. It's very passionate and fun communication, but something that is small and may not grow and prosper. Now, in the Tarot of Dreams deck, the Knight of Coins energy is the opposite of the Rider weight. This is fast-moving energy. So again, someone coming in quickly and unexpectedly and giving you a lot of attention and recognition here. Fe shining like the sun, feeling like a kid again, but still trying to get to the truth of what is on offer. Someone's feeling like they don't have enough in some way when it comes to children or family or maybe even money, but spirit saying, have faith. We're helping to bring you into a path of abundance, uh, independence, and the connection with another whereby there could very well be a happily ever after. So I am feeling like we do have some Capricorns, male or female, with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords here, who are both kind of thinking about the same thing, but you're kind of mirroring your each other in some way uh, where you're maintaining some boundaries, heavy, heavy boundaries. And at some point, there's this feeling of carrying a weight in a relationship, uh, passionate connection. Should I continue? Should I not? Now, if you are working hard on the creation of something in the area of home and money business, good communication is coming that will help for you to celebrate something with family and friends. There it is, a gift from the universe in the form of the Ace of Wands, an exciting, passionate new direction in the area of home, family, or business where you can finally leave troubled waters behind. So maybe some of you are leaving behind an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini to go into the direction of the devil, which is your energy of a passionate feminine or the realization that you're you're starting to feel passionate but you're unsure of someone's intentions like we talked about so it is a time with the six of pentacles energies whether it's professional or personal to look at what is on offer to trust in prayer because the star card is showing up as a major arcana that spirit will help you to identify a wish come true now some are saying you know what i'm done with this area of business money organization and Spirit's saying, yep, now's the time. Things are going full circle. The Wheel of Fortune's going to turn in your favor. So definitely travel into the direction of the right offer that may take until mid to end of July Capricorn. For a new path of success will open up before you. <clears throat> yeah, someone may be connecting with someone in a leadership position. And the Spirit is saying, we'll help you to make the right decision. Just go with the flow and trust that wishes attention recognition and wishes come true are headed your way especially in the area of business so there could be an unexpected business offer that makes this capricorn start to think about moving into the direction of a bigger nicer house uh so by the middle of july of 2022 we have another two major arcanas uh the Fool card, which is the manifestation of a brand new path, and the high priestess, which is the strength with spirit's assistance to observe a situation before taking action. Okay, something may not grow and prosper in the first half of July, but if you give it some time, you may eventually go excitedly into the direction of something better, something that you're passionate about. We have heartache, feeling backed into a corner, um, trying to decide on one doorway or another, maybe going away from a situation where someone wasn't being completely honest but there may have been a, a, a quite a bit of passion okay in the relationship sector trying to find the strength to manifest emotional balance your ship is coming in you guys are going to be connecting with other people in the area of money or things of the material and you're going to start to see a light at the end of the tunnel after researching a new opportunity it is a new financial or material direction that's going to give you the strength of the death card emotionally to uh, lay down this indecision about what action to steps to take regarding the fantasy and illusion of the seven of cups so you get to manifest the journey in front of you um, and you need to just take some time to make sure 
um, of what this path is going to look like because it's the beginning of a chapter and it's like you know now what you didn't know then and it's up to you to choose the highest best path and of course spirit is walking this journey with you so i am going to confirm and clarify with the gypsy oracle deck i like to confirm and clarify with this deck because it helps me to pinpoint certain people places circumstances situations and or environments by which spirit is helping for me to translate for you capricorn all right so researching yep something in the area of business home money at the beginning of july trying to get to the truth of making a change in the area of home or family maybe headed in a new direction because of business and you're researching that change at the beginning of july now in the relationship sector here if you are working on uh, with a service business organization creating a service on your own uh, it's going to start to feel like things are moving rather quickly as you reach out to others here uh, during the first half of july so Someone, I have to say, is really hoping that someone is a soulmate, but when the consolation prize shows up, this is sometimes um, someone who's kind of throwing you a bone, but again, leaving you a bit indecisive with the Four of Cups in the subconscious position. Now, uh, when it comes to money, uh, the consolation energy could be a an angel coming to say, we're guiding you into connection with the right one regarding a building or organization, uh, regarding a service. Uh, and a change in the area of home or family. So in the actions position, we have quick and unexpected communication, feeling like you need to take quick action closer to uh, mid-July. Now I am getting for some, you may receive a letter around the 8th of July of 2022. Hang in there until the it feels right. The message that you receive feels like the kindest, best offer, because then you're gonna have the strength emotionally to bring an end to a current location uh, or business situation yeah and it's hard sometimes right i hate to leave behind uh maybe a younger child or two who are moving on with their life now i'm thinking about you know maybe downsizing for some we've got this big palace and then thinking about this little house here and um but the message that's coming in let's see <laughs> is from this person okay so we have the lord energy which can sometimes represent uh, a manager supervisor business owner uh, this could be a personal connection whereby with the four of cups there is indecision about someone's devotion uh, because the communication came and went so quickly uh, that energy is leaving someone here researching how they that they could either bring sorrow into their journey or they can bring a journey to an end uh, there was some quick moving energy and then boom, you're sitting in the energy of the hermit day to day. So Spirit's saying take off the blindfold of the fortune card and focus on researching uh, your business, your talents, your gifts, your skills. Because I think Spirit is going to send in an angel here and guide you into the direction of a soul connection that was meant to be in your life at this time. So in the inner strengths position, I think they're saying hang in there until you have a conversation with someone who may have water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, for some. Uh, if that's not the case, we have conversations with younger people, making changes in the area of home or family, someone leaving or taking action very quickly to go into a new direction for themselves. And there may be a little bit of sadness regarding that. But Spirit's saying, you know, have a conversation, help someone to research a new direction, Someone is growing up here or new opportunities are coming in here. And it's through a conversation that really makes you feel good where you can finally bring an end to who or what did not. See, cheerfulness will trump this energy of feeling in this prison, right? I was feeling trapped or stuck in a situation, maybe involving a child or children, or um, when it comes to finances. And now I'm giving birth to with the child card and the merchant. Uh, money and abundance, profits. So as I sit and wait and contemplate on what I want to create for myself and connect with people to find the right offer through conversations, I know that there is some form of surprise that is coming my way. Yeah, Someone wants something good from someone who's walking in their shadow energy. So Spirit's saying you will find that you are sighing in awe because something ended, uh, that better things 
are headed your way. So there could be a new financial offer and you'll know it's the right person um, because of the kind words and messages you receive. In other cases, uh, there is going to be the realization uh, that someone was just being false and that's okay because new offers and communications are coming in. So free yourself from energy of stubbornness or frustration. Put someone in the friend zone for some of you is the advice for others. Connect with family and friends at this time because you are growing and maturing spiritually. Yeah, it's in a new direction. If you're single, where there will be a gift of marriage commitment or partnership. So if some of you are thinking about traveling and connecting with other people, you may not know it, but it's in a direction after waiting for a period of time where you discover love. So there could be a new unexpected communication coming in here for some Capricorns by mid-July of 2022. You have transformed. Old thoughts fall away. Misfortunate situations are left behind. And if someone can't be trusted, there will be a feeling of healing. I'm healing and I'm continuing to move forward until I receive the information that I desire. So... I'm going to connect with a service building organization or I am going to create one and know that I can bring an end to anyone who causes me energies of confusion or sorrow during the first half of July. Spirit is guiding me to discover through research a path where there will be fortune and abundance, where there will eventually be a connection that feels right. Therefore, if someone doesn't turn out to be offering what I want, I can bring an end to that situation and free myself from the sorrowful path that I may have chosen before. So I'm closing with a message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue, and we have the Nine of Thoughts. So this is that energy of feeling like you can't sleep at night, right? Over-researching a situation regarding home, family, abundance, money, career. And so the card says, stop being so hard on yourself, Capricorn, and turn your thoughts toward the positive now. There is no need to worry for anticipating the worst is not helpful at this time. Know that heaven will provide a solution now. If you are experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problem to your angels. Go within and work on what a fortunate journey looks like for you. For at this time, you're going to feel very intuitive, Capricorn, and what will come to you are wonderful insights that are lying inside of you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desire of your heart through meditation and prayer, right? Just like with the hermit energy in the day-to-day -day aspects position. Be patient with yourself. Research offers and opportunities. And know that by mid-July, you have the seven of thought or swords energies what you have been confused about regarding a situation in your life will suddenly uh, become very clear to you whether the truth is revealed to you by your angels disclosed by a friend or discovered on your own it will feel great to be awake and aware feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need in the first half of july it's a wonderful time for learning and honing your skills uh, to follow your inspirations on topics that fascinate you. Educate yourself. Work on the healing arts. It is a time to change jobs. Make a career move. For the key to success is going to lie in the details. So monitor your personal projects carefully for some unexpected surprise is coming your way. And I feel like it could show up financially down here and then emotionally in this new direction. But if you're waiting on someone um, and you're unsure, now's the time to have that conversation. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. 
I am now offering the summer special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. Thank you to those of you who come to me for month to month readings and to those of you who have followed up those readings with those beautiful emails, letting me know exactly how your personal reading helped to guide you into that higher path of peace, joy, and happiness. Thank you to those of you who uh, attend my live Zoom cast on Wednesday and Wednesdays and who attend the live YouTube podcast on Thursdays. Thank you so very much for those donations as well. Take care and God bless.